This film begins by showing young Elsa and Anna playing with snow dolls with the help of Elsa's magic powers. Not long after, their parents, King Agnar and Queen Iduna, came and took them to bed while telling stories about their father's past regarding the enchanted forest. The tale tells of an old forest in the far north that is protected by the spirits of the elements. Air, fire, water, and earth. The forest is home to the mysterious Northuldra tribe. They live side by side with these spirits. Despite having different ways of life, the Northuldra tribe and the kingdom of Arendelle share a friendship. To honor the treaty, King Runyard of Arendelle gave a peace gift of a large dam to strengthen the waters of the Northuldra tribe. Then, the Northuldra tribe and the kingdom of Arendelle held a peace celebration which was attended by little Agnar, Elsa and Anna's father. They are enchanted by the magic of the enchanted forest's protective spirits. At the event, Agnar saw a Northuldra girl playing with a wind spirit. Suddenly, the Northuldra tribe and the kingdom of Arendelle attacked each other resulting in the death of Agnar's father. Your grandfather, grandfather was lost. As a result, the spirits attacked the Northuldra tribe and Arendelle's troops. Agnar, who didn't know anything, fell unconscious and was saved by someone. Someone saved me. After that incident, the enchanted forest isolated itself from the outside world so that no one could enter or leave the forest, including the Northuldra tribe and the kingdom of Arendelle who were trapped in the fog that enveloped the forest. Only Agnar managed to get out and later became the next king. I came home king of Arendelle. After the story, Elsa asked her mother if the enchanted forest could revive. His mother replies that only Adahallen knows, a special place containing a river of past memories. The scene changes to show Elsa who has grown up and become Queen of Arendelle. When Elsa was about to enter the room, she suddenly heard a clear singing sound. But strangely, the others did not hear the sound. It seemed like only Elsa could hear it. Do you hear that? What? In the evening, Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven were playing a guessing game. When it was Elsa's turn, she heard the mysterious singing again which this time sounded scary because it appeared at night. Elsa, who was anxious, decided to stop the game on the grounds that she was too tired. However, Anna felt there was something strange about Elsa, as if she was hiding something. Anna decided to check on Elsa's condition and asked Elsa to tell her what happened. Seeing Elsa who was so restless, Anna tried to calm Elsa by singing songs that her mother often sang, until finally they both fell asleep. While sleeping, Elsa heard the mysterious singing voice again. Even though he tried hard to ignore it, the voice still sounded clear. Because it was very disturbing, Elsa decided to look for the source of the singing sound. However, accidentally, Elsa awakens the magical spirits of the enchanted forest, which makes the spirits angry by removing the sources of water and fire and making the wind blow very fast. The ground in Arendelle shook, making Elsa decide to evacuate the residents far from the kingdom. It seems that the kingdom of Arendelle is being cursed by spirits. When they evacuated, suddenly the trolls came with a message for Elsa and Anna that they had to correct a mistake. To find answers, they decide to look for the origin of the mysterious singing sound which is thought to come from the enchanted forest. Elsa hands over the people of Arendelle to the trolls, and the trolls tell Anna that they should pray for Elsa's powers to grow to face the angry spirit. Their journey to the enchanted forest begins. After a short journey, they arrived at a forest that was still covered in thick fog. Elsa tries to get closer and it turns out that the mist allows Elsa and the others to enter the enchanted forest. They entered the fog and arrived in the forest. The scenery inside is beautiful, and the dam that was Arendelle's gift to Northuldra still stands strong. After walking around, they continued their journey, but suddenly a vortex appeared which immediately sucked them in. The whirlwind is a wind spirit, and it turns out it is only targeting Elsa. With her powers, Elsa tries to fight the wind spirit. In the whirlwind, Elsa sees images of her father as a child and the war between Arendelle and the Northuldra tribe. Finally, Elsa managed to get out of the vortex, 
and the shadow she had seen was also frozen because of the very cold effect of the ice. Turns out it was a moment from the past. Anna also remembered Olaf's words that water has memory, and one of the frozen shadows showed their father with a girl who had saved him. Not long after that, they heard the sound of a trumpet and the Northuldra tribe appeared with the Arendelle troops who had been trapped in the enchanted forest for years. The two groups still have a grudge against each other. Elsa separated them with her ice powers, surprising everyone because this was the first time they had seen someone who had magic powers. Olaf then explains to them the purpose of Elsa and the others coming to the Enchanted Forest, which is a recap of the first Frozen movie. After listening to Olaf's story, the Arendelle Knights believe that Elsa is the Queen of Arendelle. Suddenly a fire broke out which was thought to be the work of a fire spirit. Elsa also tried to stop the fire spirit with her magic power, and finally succeeded. As it turns out, the fire spirit is a chameleon. Elsa tries to tame the fire spirit. <sighs> After that, Elsa heard mysterious singing again. Unexpectedly, the fire spirit also heard the singing and even knew its location in the far north. Then. Anna came and immediately hugged Elsa because she was really worried about her. Elsa gives their mother's scarf to Anna to calm her down. However, the Northuldra tribe was surprised because their mother's scarf turned out to be a very old Northuldra scarf. Elsa realized something and invited Anna to go to the shadow statue. It turns out that Elsa's guess was correct, that the Northuldra woman who saved their father was their own biological mother. After learning the truth, the ice around them started to glow. The Northuldra tribe sings songs as a sign of welcoming children from their region. Anna and Elsa were finally accepted by the Northuldra tribe. It seems, the battle between Arendelle and Northuldra has ended. Elsa tells them that her real goal is to go north to find the person behind the mysterious voice. However, one member of the Northuldra tribe warns that at night earth giants roam the north. They also offered a place to stay and suggested that the trip continue the next day. At the settlement, Elsa gets an explanation from the carving on her mother's scarf that there are actually five spirits, not four. One spirit is the link between the other four spirits. It is possible that the mysterious voice that Elsa heard was a call from the fifth spirit. Suddenly, the ground shook, a sign that an earth giant was passing by their place. They were asked to hide. Apparently, the giant came because he felt the aura of magic energy released by Elsa. Thankfully, the giant finally left. Elsa changed her mind and decided to continue her journey that same night. However, Kristoff suddenly disappeared along with his pet reindeer, Sven. Anna is sad because Kristoff left without her knowing. They continued their journey without Kristoff and Sven. Meanwhile, Kristoff is seen among a group of deer, apparently training himself to propose to Anna. Not long afterward, one of the Northuldra tribe members came and said that Anna, Elsa, and Olaf had continued their journey last night. Kristoff, who heard that, felt sad because they left without him. Yeah, yep, I know the woods. We are then shown Elsa, Anna, and Olaf continuing their journey. On the way, they found the wreck of a ship that had been used by their parents before they disappeared and died. They entered the ship to find out what happened. After searching, Anna found a map belonging to their parents. It turns out, their parents' ship is headed to Atahalan, a magical river that holds memories of the past. Elsa tries to remove water from the ship to see the memories in the water. An explanation began to emerge. It turned out that their parents' purpose in going to Atahalan was to find out the origin of Elsa's magical powers. However, on the way, they encountered high waves. The story stopped because Elsa couldn't hear it. He felt that the accident that happened to their parents was his fault. Anna, who heard this, disagreed because their parents went to Atahalan of their own free will, not because of Elsa. However, Elsa actually kept Anna and Olaf away from her. He did this so that Anna and Olaf would not join him on his journey to Atahalan, because the journey was dangerous. Anna tried to stop the slide that was carrying them, but they changed direction and entered the river, being carried by the current until they reached the place where the land giants were resting. It seemed that many land giants were sleeping. Anna and Olaf try to avoid them and finally find a cave. They entered the cave soaking wet. Meanwhile, 
Elsa gets ready to face the waves of the dark sea. His first attempt failed. In the sea, Elsa encounters a water spirit. After trying hard, Elsa succeeded in taming the water spirit. He rode the water spirit horse towards Atahalan and finally arrived there. Like I am Elsa searches Atahalan looking for the figure behind the mysterious song. With her power, Elsa activates her magic which makes Atahalan display memories of the past. It is revealed that the mysterious song that Elsa heard was the voice of past memories from her mother, who at that time was calling the wind spirit for help because Anna's father was unconscious. After knowing this, an extraordinary change occurred. Elsa evolved into the fifth spirit, namely the connecting spirit between spirits. Then, Elsa displays memories of the past, which shows that it was King Runyard who started the war with the Northuldra tribe. King Runyard was afraid of the Northuldra tribe living side by side with the spirits, for fear that the tribe would grow stronger and become a threat to Arendelle. The dam given to the Northuldra tribe was apparently aimed at making them submit to Arendelle. King Runyard even killed the king of the Northuldra tribe. However, because Elsa entered Atahalan too deeply, her entire body froze. Elsa managed to give Anna a message through the snow before freezing to death. Then, a message from Elsa arrived at Anna's place. Anna realized that the dam given to the Northuldra tribe was a trick by their grandfather against their mother's tribe. Knowing this, Anna plans to destroy the dam, even though the water from the dam will flood Arendelle. He hoped that this act would make the spirits forgive the betrayal of the kingdom of Arendelle. Anna didn't know yet that Elsa had died, but slowly she began to realize it when she saw Olaf who was fading because the magic in his body was almost gone. I love you. Anna cried knowing her brother had died and her best friend had disappeared. Even so, Anna must remain strong because only she knows how to dispel the mist that surrounds the enchanted forest. Knowing the huge size of the dam, Anna utilized the power of the land giants by bringing them to the front of the dam. Even though the plan wasn't easy, luckily Kristoff arrived in time to help. Whoop. They make it to the dam, but the knights come to stop Anna as they swear to protect Arendelle at all costs. Anna tries to explain about their grandfather betraying the Northuldra tribe and that the dam should be destroyed as a sign of apology. The knights initially found it hard to believe the story. However, Anna told that Elsa had sacrificed her life for this truth, and finally the knights believed her. They also help Anna distract the earth giants, making the giants throw large rocks at them which hit the dam. After the dam is destroyed, a magic is activated that brings Elsa back to life. There was a large wave of water towards the kingdom of Arendelle, but Elsa came with the water spirit and managed to stop the wave with her strength. After that, Arendelle returned to normal, indicating that Arendelle had been forgiven, and the fog in the magical forest disappeared. All the animals and people trapped there can finally see the outside world. Anna sees snow from Elsa as a sign of good news and follows it until she sees Elsa crossing the sea with a water spirit. Of course, Anna was very happy to see that. Elsa then thanked Anna because her decision and courage had saved Elsa. Elsa also said that the spirits had agreed to let Arendelle stand again with Anna as queen. Elsa adds that she has now become the fifth spirit. Anna? <laughs> Elsa! After that, Kristoff proposed to Anna to become his wife, and Anna accepted the proposal. A few days after that incident, Anna was crowned queen of Arendelle. Anna and her people inaugurate the statues of King Agner and Queen Iduna, as a symbol of unification between the kingdom of Arendelle and the Northuldra tribe. Meanwhile, Elsa is seen in an enchanted forest, where she now lives with the spirits and the Northuldra tribe, serving as a link between the spirits. 
The film ends with Elsa heading to Atahalan with the water spirit. The dark ocean has now frozen, symbolizing Elsa's power as the fifth spirit who is able to freeze the dark ocean. And this is the end of this story.